Hi, and welcome to Dauntless Financial. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, my name is Dr. V. The market made a little rebound today. I don't know how the family is doing, but I had a green day in my portfolio today, which was good. And I had an opportunity in the pre-market to buy some stocks at a discount. I was able to get into Square. I got in in the 210 range in the pre-market. I saw it as low as two, uh, 203 in the pre-market. If you guys aren't able to trade in the early pre-market, I mean 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., consider Webull. You can begin trading at 4 a.m. If you sign up for Webull and deposit $100, you'll get two free stocks. And if you use the link I have below, I'll get stocks as well. Now, I'm not saying that to for you to go out and buy Webull, but it is good to be able to trade in the pre-market and the aftermarket. I got some great discounts on Square today, which was awesome. I also saw, saw Tesla at 585 in the pre-market today. So it was some good deals this morning in the pre-market. A lot of stocks, they went low, and then rebound it showing some strength now it may be choppy going forward for a little while longer however definitely hold your positions and your high conviction plays um exactly what i was talking about on yesterday but i saw square bounce up i think it closed around 219 220 which was great and i was glad i was able to get some on a disc discount and that's why it's important to do your research so that once you see a, a, a company or a stock at a price that you like, you don't even have to think about it. Just get in, get it, and have confidence knowing you already did your due diligence. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you had a green day as well. In this video, I'm going to begin the $10,000 wheel option challenge. Now, this is just for entertainment. It's for entertainment and education. Just to show the family there are other ways to make money in the stock market. The wheel option strategy is a pure income play. I'm doing this simply to make income, not necessarily investing or and not necessarily really even trading, but this is just a simple way to begin to make income, especially in choppy markets or in down markets like this. Two companies I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using NEO, company that I know, but it's a risky play. So I'm gonna show you the side with a risky company. And I'm also gonna be using AT&T. Not as risky, not as volatile. It's price uh, stays really tight. And it also pays a dividend. So I'm gonna show you the two different uh, risks uh, in the companies when doing the wheel option strategy and then show you the reward side of what the premium pays for both. Before I get into the wheel option strategy, I kindly ask, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below, but most of all, share with others. Okay, family, I'm gonna go to my Robinhood account. I'm new to Robinhood. I opened the Robinhood account specifically to do this wheel option challenge. I usually trade in uh, Merrill Edge. That's why I hold most of the money, but I also have a SoFi account and a Webull account. Now of the three, I like to call them uh, app-based or phone-based apps. To me, Robinhood so far has seemed to be a lot easier to navigate compared to Webull and uh, SoFi. Now I shouldn't say easier, as in the other two are hard because they're all pretty easy, but it's uh, the interface for Robinhood. You can get in and get out, in my opinion, a little bit easier than the other two. However, I do like Webull because they have more tools as far as research. So uh, if you need either one or you need a new brokerage account, consider using either okay, one. Okay, family, here I am in my Robinhood account. You can see $10,000, $3.46. Buying power 10,000. That 346 is the free stock that I got from Robinhood for signing up. OPK, I don't even know what they are or what they do. I didn't even look at the free stock about, uh, really even research that company. I'll probably be selling it sometime soon. All right. Now, to get into selling the put option, type in the company, trade NEO options. 
it defaults to buy the call. Make sure if you're selling a put or selling a call, you want to make sure you hit sell. I heard a lot of people that make mistakes are not hitting the proper buttons. So you want to hit sell the put in order to start the wheel option strategy. I'm going to take this out, not this Friday, but the following Friday, May 21st. It's currently May 11th. So not quite two weeks, but approximately 10 days. And I'm going to sell the $31 uh, strike price. And I like uh, Robinhood because they show your chance of profit. The percentage change is what it changed today and it's down seven cent. So I'm going to sell the 47 cent, which would net me, which would net me $47. Continue. It's going to be good for the day. 100 shares, which is one contract, at 47 cents. I'll get $47. Review the order. You're agreeing to buy 100 shares of NEO at $31 on or before May 21st. If you aren't asked to buy NEO by then, you'll keep your collateral and the full $47 credit. Okay, now what's some of the downside risks? If NEO just plunges and it falls past 31, all the way down into the 20s, teens, or even zero, I'll still be uh, stuck buying NEO at 31, and it may be worth much less. So that's the downside risk of buying, of selling the put option. If it doesn't get down to 31, I'll just simply uh, keep that $47 premium and just do this all over again after uh may 21st so that following monday i'll be i'll run it back if i'm not assigned the 100 shares at 31 dollars and i simply click submit and done let's see hopefully this goes through and i'm uh, um Hopefully it goes through at the 47, uh, 47 cent price. It may be a little different once um, trading starts on tomorrow. We'll see. It may, if NEO actually goes down, the price may be a little higher. If NEO actually goes up, then I may have to redo the trade for a lower price than uh, 47 cent okay now let's do the next company t a t and t i'm going to do the same thing trade t options all righty i want to sell put let's go to the 21st now, at and T, I'm going to get a lot less. You can see I got 47 cents per, per, uh, for the contract for Neo. Now, for at and T, I I want to sell it at the same $30 strike because at and T is, is uh, trading really, really close to its 52-week uh, high and... I believe there's going to be a slight pullback in the uh, in the Dow. So I believe companies like AT&T may have a slight pullback. So I want to get it at 30. Now, I'm only going to be getting $4 for this contract. However, for this contract, however, if I if I get assigned AT&T, I'm not going to be mad. I know AT&T they pay a dividend. I believe the ex dividend date but at t will be in July. I don't know if I'll be, if I do get a sign when I have it that long, but let's go. I'll just take the $4 again. This is for education and entertainment and the same downside risk. If at t falls and blows past uh, 30, I'm still on the hook to buy it at $30. The 52 week low for at t is around 26. 
So it was between 26 and 33 for the past 52 weeks uh, is what AT&T has been trading at. And that's why I say it's a very tight window. Neo has been as low as 32 and as high as 66, almost 67. So you can see a very big window for Neo and a very tight window for AT&T. Much less risk for AT&T, which is why I'm getting much less reward. So we'll only, we'll only be getting $4 for the AT&T. Continue. Continue. You order. So I'm getting $4 for 100 shares of AT&T at a $30 strike price. And submit. And done. Now, I do have some buying power left. If I'm assigned the NEO, uh, if I'm assigned NEO at the strike price, then what I'm going to do is buy more at a lower strike price. I'll buy another contract, uh, possibly in the 20s, if it's uh, that low at the time. So let's see how it goes, family. Uh, let's see what becomes of this. I'm going to run it for one year. We're going to see what the profits are. We're going to see if I blow it all. Let's see what happens with the $10,000 wheel option strategy. But I do believe anyone who wants to get into trading options should be on the sale side of the option first. You should sell options first. It's a lot less risk. It's a lot greater chance of profit really quick let's look as if if i was actually buying what a lot of people do is buy calls now as you see the, the the chance just to break even what your percentage chance is to break even from buying a call the upside risk is a lot more but what's your chance of actually making a profit and if it was neo really quick i just want to show you all because a lot of people start off by actually uh, buying calls when you should be on the sales side first to learn more about option trading. And also you wanna learn about the Greeks of, um, of option trading before you definitely, before you begin to buy options, but you should know the Greeks, Delta, Theta, Vega, and even Rho, but definitely Delta, Theta, Vega, and implied volatility look those things up rewind this if you have to but look up those uh the, the greek options uh the order greeks for opt for trading options look them up try to understand what they mean before you really get into trading options it'll help you a lot be more informed about how much money you can potentially make and lose before you get into an option play Oh, really quick, let me show you the call side, your chance just to break even, 3%, 2%. This is something I do like that Robin Hood shows, negative percent to actually make a profit. Buying the call, now selling, chance of a profit is a lot greater when you're on the sale side, whether it's a call or a put. That's why I say start off on the sale side first. And that's why I really wanted to show the family this wheel option strategy. Any one of you all have questions about it, you want to learn more about it, feel free to reach out to me. My Facebook uh, is down below. You can reach out to me in the instant messages. My Instagram is down below. You can reach out to me in the instant messages. I'll definitely get back with you. Or you can comment in the, um, in the comment section of YouTube and uh, we can uh, communicate like that because the question you may have may be something that everyone has. All right. Okay, family, there you have it. The wheel option strategy has begun. I hope you're getting something from the video. I hope this is very informative and educational and shows you another way, yet another way to make money in the stock market. If you're getting anything from the videos, I kindly ask, hit that like button for me. It really helps. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps. Comment down below. Most of all, share with others. I'm going to be ending this video with a prayer. And if you would like, you can pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you so much once again for everything that you do for us, Lord God. 
Thank you for your continued blessings. We ask that you bless us with more wisdom, more knowledge, so that we can do well with all of our investments. And all that you bless us with, Lord God, help us to be good stewards with it, Lord. Continue to bless the families. Bless us with generational wealth and true freedom for generations to come. May our cups run it over. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Family, be blessed.